One of the things I really enjoy doing here on the channel is sharing recipes with you that turn vegetables into something a little bit less gross, to be completely frank about it. We had the peas recipe, we, we, we do all these veggie recipes. This one is gonna be a simple one. We'll run through the ingredients, we'll get cooking on the cooktop. Hit like on this video. For this one, we're making broccolini, but, but to be completely honest, you can do this with any green vegetable. You can use regular broccoli, you could use peas, you could use snow peas. This is gonna yield a really, really good kind of Asian style stir fry. Here I have a little bit of garlic chopped up, actually sliced up. I have some chicken broth, some soy sauce. This is dark soy sauce. You could use sweet soy sauce. You could use any soy sauce. These next two ingredients are optional. This is Shaoxing rice wine, and then a little bit of fish sauce. Now I'm not gonna use a lot of most of this stuff. I'm gonna use most chicken stock, and then the other things are gonna kinda flavor it. If you want something like ginger, you would start with ginger and garlic sauteed in your pan. I actually don't have ginger, so I'm not gonna add that. We're gonna just start right here, and honestly, I, I don't have any oil other than extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna use that. You wanna use whatever you got, guys. And we have one, maybe two more ingredients that we're gonna actually add to the end of this recipe. So stick around, and you're gonna wanna see how that turns out. Pan is over medium heat. I'm gonna add about, let's say, a tablespoon of olive oil. And we're, we have approximately eight ounces of broccolini or broccoli here. I'm gonna let that heat up and I'm gonna saute the garlic in there for just a minute. Now we don't want this to get any color. We just want the oil to pick up the flavor of the garlic. So just maybe like 20 seconds like that. I like to, at this point, turn my heat down to low and then I'm gonna add my broccolini. While this starts to pick up just a tiny little bit of color, We'll mix up our sauce. Quarter cup or so of the chicken broth. Soy sauce, maybe about a teaspoon. Shaoxing wine, about half a teaspoon. You see, I haven't measured a damn thing here. And fish sauce, just a couple dashes. That's plenty right there. Now you could add a little cornstarch to this to kind of help thicken it up. I don't think we're gonna need to go there. You wanna turn your broccoli, and you hear it popping. It's starting to pick up a little bit of color. You don't want to let this go too long at all. And how we stop that is by adding our liquid. And I'm actually going to add just a touch more stock on with the lid. That's got to steam for approximately three minutes. The goal here is something light and flavorful not something like totally gloopy. If I want that type of food, I'll go get Chinese takeout. But you could just add a little cornstarch. I would say maybe quarter, half teaspoon to that slurry, and then you would just throw it right in the pan. As these steam, you're gonna smell that soy sauce kind of come through. At the end of this, you see barely any liquid is left. So I'm actually gonna call this here. Our broccoli is turned nice and green, bright and vibrant. That's another good sign. And I'm gonna turn off the heat and actually take it off of the hot burner. Now let's talk our last two secret ingredients. The first secret ingredient is just toasted sesame oil. In fact, you could actually put some toasted sesame seeds in this and that could be a nice little garnish. You don't even need to do it. So a little bit of this, little goes a long way, just a drizzle. We got this weird Asian hybrid Italian thing with the olive oil. I got Calabrian chili oil. I want this a little spicy, so I'm gonna add a little of that to accent it as well. Let's, I'll show you how little we add of this stuff to kind of just bring this dish together. First things first, the sesame oil. Now this, a little goes a long way. Just a couple drops. That's plenty right there. Galabrian chili oil. You can go a little more with this one. Make it nice and spicy. Now we taste it. That was easy, right? So here we go. We have our broccolini, but first, when you cook this, you notice the floret edges actually cook a little faster than the stems. That's the idea of the three to four minute steam. You're kind of doing this kind of fried steam hybrid. You get a little color on it, then you kind of braise it the rest of the way and steam it. Still got a little snap left in there. You could do this with asparagus too. That's so good. Like I said, you could use a sweet soy sauce. That would actually make this a little bit more, I would say, palatable to the American taste but I love adding the oils at the end of that. It kind of helps to enrich everything. You don't want to cook with toasted sesame oil, but it definitely is great to accent the flavor of stuff at the very end. The hot chili oil totally kicks it up. That The mixture of components that we added to the sauce, 
kind of add some complexity to this. It's one of those things you, you, you think it's very simple, handful of ingredients, but you can make something totally amazing with it. Go ahead and add pork, chicken, beef, whatever you want to this. I, don't, I really don't care. In fact, if you do use this recipe as a base, I wanna see your creations. So post to social media and tag me, the tag's DairyX. If you like this recipe, I'll leave a link to the playlist of all my recipe videos right here. And I'll leave all my dining reviews right here and you can watch all that. Don't forget, hit like on this video, subscribe, comment down below with future suggestions for recipes and have an amazing day. Oh,